So the most terrifying thing about the Sally House is that nobody really knows if it's being haunted by a ghost or a demon. The Sally House, located in Atchison, Kansas, has a lengthy history of just terrifying owners and has also been the source of two separate BuzzFeed Unsolves. And I really think that we should all go there ourselves. But first, let's get into the backstory. The Sally House was built between 1867 and 1871. It was built for Michael C. Finney and his family. This included his wife, Kate, and his three kids, James, Agnes, and Charles. And altogether, they lived in the basement while this was being built. But in the year 1872, Michael ended up passing away in the home. And years later, in 1906, his daughter Agnes moved back into the home. She got married to an engineer named William True. And in 1913, he also passed away in the home. Agnes passed away next in 1939. After this, several families moved in and out of the residence, and there wasn't a whole lot of incidents. But this all changed on December 31st of 1992 when the Pickmans moved in. Tony and Deborah Pickman, who were a newlywed couple and expecting their first child, had no idea what. So when Tony and Deborah Pickman were moving into the new house, their dog, who was normally very calm, would start to freak out a lot. And to give a little bit of timeline, about January through June of 1993, they would experience things such as lights flickering, cold spots around the home, landline calls dropped, Pretty typical haunting stuff. But this honestly seems just common for a home built in the 1800s. Tony had even joked about there being a ghost. Well, in June of 1993, their baby arrived. And this is when things went from a little spooky to terrifying. Electronic toys would turn on and off. The wind-up mobile above his crib would just randomly go off. And he would wake up almost every hour of the night. Deborah describing it as if someone was wanting to play with him. A neighbor actually ended up coming to them and asking them why they left their nursery light on throughout the night when in reality, their son had just been sleeping in their bedroom. So they weren't even in there turning on the light. Deborah's sister ended up coming into town to help with the baby. And she asked why all the baby's toys were on the floor arranged in a circle with backs facing each. When the Pikmins came up to check in the nursery, they put all the toys back where they came from. They left, turned off the lights, and when they came back to check, they found both the lights on and one of the bears lying flat on his back just to put the bear back on the chair and found it on the floor again later. Tony's brother Greg ended up coming over with a camera and asked the spirit if it wanted its picture taken. He snapped a picture of the bear in the nursery and apparently the bear spun around before their eyes. The grown men were panicked. They were freaked out, ready to leave the house. Deborah was packing up all their stuff while Tony strapped the baby in the carrier. And as he was leaning down to do this, he felt this sharp pain in his back. But because their priority was to get out of there, they didn't look at his back until they got to Tony's parents. Deborah picked up his shirt and he had three large scratch marks. So they decided to call psychic Barbara Connor. She came and told the family that the house was being haunted by a girl named Sally. She concluded that she was childish and bratty, but mostly harmless. She'd light candles to show that she was friendly, but she said that Deborah needed to be firm with her. But the reality was far worse. So there was two times Sally made herself known. On October 31st of 1993, Tony came home from work on Halloween and turned around to see a little girl standing in his kitchen. She was in church clothes and he realized he could see through her. And he made the connection that this was probably Sally. Previous owners to the house came to the Pickmans and said that their five-year-old daughter had an imaginary friend named Sally the entire time she was living there. She would be scolded for doing something and she would blame Sally for it, saying that I didn't do that, Sally did, or Sally told me to do that. A photo was made of what Tony had saw and the girl confirmed that that was a Sally from her youth. But the next time Tony saw Sally, it was a horrible nightmare. He woke up to her reaching for him, but he kept finding back and she ended up turning into something that looked more like an animal. It had rotting flesh, worms crawling through it, and it growled at him. Incidences kept happening years after they moved out. Another family moved in and the woman used it for demonic worship, making everything worse. But I'm curious and wanna go visit it. My boyfriend and I are on a road trip to the Sally House. Go watch the vlog on my YouTube.